อย่ารู้เรื่องดีRunning 101 to leave it inside. If you go near the bubbles, do people even care? I got one prawn from that trick. <laughs> And after that, Gwen caught one. I think down here is like harder to catch. I feel oh. even though the space is a bit smaller, I'm quite surprised. Cause like if you go other places, right, it's actually bigger, but it's easier to catch. But it was fun though. Like it yeah, was something fun. new to like us, like learning the right techniques to prawn it all. So one of the USPs of this place is that it's actually open 24/7, so you can come in here anytime with your friends and barbecue them at night. So we are done barbecuing, and now we're gonna eat. All right. So first up, we are at Ching Seafood Village. So first up, this is the stir fried mee sua for six dollars, and one of their signature dishes. And I think it's pretty okay in terms of quantity right now. Okay, let's dig in. At first, right, it was actually very under seasoned, so the flavors here are very mild. But after we squeeze the lime, right, it gives a bit of a citrus kick. I quite like it with the lime. As for the ingredients, there are two prawns. Okay, it's fresh. It has a very nice chew. I quite like it. I mean, there's only two, so that's it. It's just enough. Yeah. Yeah. There's also some fish. Ah, uh, look inside. It's like glistening, you know. Wow, I've never tasted such dense fish before. Oh yeah. This, one, this is not a fast for me. Sorry, but it's not a fast. It's more quantity than quality. Yeah. This dish. So this is dish number two, and it's one of their signature dishes as well. And it's ten dollars. There are quite a lot of pieces inside actually. Wow. Hmm. It's very meaty. I would pay ten dollars for the yeah. entire plate of meat. I love the taste of it. Like it's super unique. I rate it quite highly. I think it's a must try. So dish number three. This is also one of their signature dishes. This one is their deep fried bean curd, and it's ten dollars for ten pieces. It also comes with sauce. Um, this one is the sweet sticky sauce that you normally deep fried bean curd with. Sweet. Oh my god. Wow. It's so big. Hmm. Oh wow. Wow, it leans a bit more to like mashed potato kind of texture. Yeah. Yeah. I think this kind of vinegar would go better with like sweet chili sauce. Okay? Yeah, but not like a really super sweet, sweet, like super one. sweet sauce. About one dollar for one. Uh. <laughs> In terms of value, you have to share it for it to be like value for money. I think this is dish number four. This is the cuttlefish rojak for six dollars. The uncle that makes the cuttlefish rojak is actually not part of the store, so you actually have to pay him separately in cash. But that being said, this looks so nice. Mm. The sauce is so sweet. There's no sauce on the rojak, right? It's like the watery version. It's not the paste kind of like sauce, you know. 
and also they are very generous with the sauce inside. It's like lade. Mm. The yuzhou itself is not like super crispy. They're also quite generous with their sotong eh. I would definitely tell you to come back for this. Normally outside rojak is like how much? 3-4 dollars. Yeah. And this is 6 dollars with cuttlefish yeah. plus sotong and like lots of yuzhous and sauce. Yeah. And it's a very unique sauce so I feel like this deserves a high rating. So next up, open for dinner is two other restaurants. So the first one is called Ano Barbecue and the second one is Lina Satay Club. At Ano Barbecue, they specialize in barbecue seafood. So we decided to get barbecue chicken wings for $1.20 each and there's no minimum order so we got three for each of us. I'm a bit disappointed because uh, normally, you know, at hawker centers, they would barbecue it right on the spot. Yeah. But he just like, take it out, warms it up a bit. It's a very normal chicken wing guys, okay? There's nothing rave about it. Next up, Satay. We got three of the chicken and two of the mutton for 70 cents each. The chicken satay is quite sweet eh. Like especially on the, the edges around it, you know where it burns. You know, it has a bit of the caramelization from the sugar. Oh, yeah. When we first pulled it, we thought it was a bit tough, but actually it's quite meaty. For now, this is the mutton one. There's a lot of fats eh. The fat pockets are like bursting in my mouth a little bit. Yeah. Overall, I think it's more for the experience that I will come back for. We are here on a weekday, so that explains why there is a lack of crowd. I like this place, it's a very nice experience that you forget that you're in Singapore sometimes. Overall, waiting. Okay, so thanks for watching another episode of People Vlogs. For more, you can check out over there. In the meantime, remember to like, share, subscribe. Bye! Bye.